Hey, Rachel. Yeah? Have you heard of the Bridges of Königsberg? No, what's that? Well, back in the 1700s, there was a city called Königsberg in Prussia. It's now called Kaliningrad, and it's in Russia. All right. The city was divided by a river that contained two islands. And there were seven bridges crossing the river in various places connecting the different bits of land. Ah, what was the river called? It was called the River Prego. And it was a really beautiful city with lots of great architecture. Ah, I see. Uh, what did the people of Königsberg do for fun? Well, they'd like to play a game where they tried to walk through the city by crossing each bridge once and only once. That sounds pretty easy. Well, lots of people thought that it was, but whenever they were challenged to trace out the route they said they had found, they were stumped. They'd always get stuck. And it didn't seem to matter where they started or what route they took. Ah, uh, yeah, look, they've missed two bridges again. Losers! <laughs> Hang on. Let's find a new way to picture this. Good idea. Let's forget all the houses and stuff. <laughs> That's a bit risky. And to make things clearer, let's call our bits of land A, B, C and D. Right. Then the important thing is how they are connected, I guess. Yeah. It doesn't matter where the pieces of land are exactly, or what size they are, or what shape they are. The only thing that's important is how they're connected by the bridges. Wow, that looks a bit clearer. That's a great new way of looking at things. Look, each piece of land is just a dot where bridges meet. Let's call the dots nodes. Ah, uh, yeah, and let's call the bridges links, because they link the nodes together. I wonder if it's important how many bridges are attached to each piece of land, so how many links go into each node. That's a good question. Let's see. If we come across one bridge into a node, then we have to be able to leave the node across another bridge. So we need two bridges each time we enter and leave a node. Right, so our conjecture is that each node needs an even number of links, so every time you enter a node on one bridge, you can leave it on another. Oh, but hang on. Your walk around the city could start and finish in different places, so those nodes could have an odd number of links. Right. So we have either there are no nodes with an odd number of links or exactly two. Right. So we've discovered that if you can find a route, then that must be true, that there must be either no nodes with an odd number of links or exactly two. In fact, a great mathematician called Leonard Euler thought just the same way. And he showed that this was exactly the conditions you needed to guarantee that you had a route that crosses each bridge once and only once. Hang on, how many links do each of our nodes have for the bridges of Königsberg? Well, let's see. It's three, five, three, and five. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. You, you lose! lose. Hmm. Why don't we just blow up a bridge then? Marianne, that is no way to deal with disappointment. No, no, I think it will fix things. Let's blow up the middle one. Oh, look. Now we have two nodes with an even number of links and two with odd. Let's check how it works. Well, A to B, B to D, D to C, C back to A, A to B, and finally we finish at D. Hooray! Yippee! <laughs>